So it's the 9th of January, 2013, and this is the site of where my old elementary school used to be, Palmerston Avenue Public School. And the last few days they've been tearing it right down. It's flattened to the ground, there's no more left of it. Right the clear is closest to me behind that dumpster was where the gymnasium was. You can see all the big white blocks from that. You can see a little bit of red brick over a little bit further past there. That was kind of where the library was. But yeah, it's it's all gone. They used to the driveway used to come right where there's one here and it used to do a loop. And there's another driveway further up there and it used to go out again. But uh, I went to this school from grade three up until I guess grade six is when they built a new school closer to my house. This one still stayed there and it was operating up until uh, the end of, I'm not sure if it was last year or the year before, but they stopped uh, sending kids there and uh, I guess they've decided to tear it down now. So it's the 9th of January today, 2013, and um, I'm sitting here at the Whitby GO station, uh, just getting ready to... Uh, hop on the train. It's a Wednesday um, and that means that on Wednesdays I normally go to Toronto uh, to participate in the Corktown ukulele jam. Uh, so you can see on my bike here I've got my backpack and my ukulele case um, fixed back there. Um, but today I've got a little bit of an extra part to my adventure. Um, I'm, I was on Kijiji uh, a few days ago um, and I happened to see a bike that I'm kind of interested in buying and that's pretty much what I've been looking for it's something I can use to replace this one here or not necessarily replace I'm still gonna keep this one um, but it'll give me kind of a backup to this one uh, for my commuting for getting you know back and forth to work and getting around town you always kind of have to have a backup if you're using that as your primary vehicle uh, because if something breaks on your bike um, you know you know you can't always depend on being able to fix it right away uh, so it's always good to have a backup this bike here has been really excellent for me uh, for commuting and stuff, but the really one complaint about it I've had is that a lot of rust forms on it because it's a steel frame. So I've always kind of been interested in trying to find something similar uh, with an aluminum frame and at an affordable price. Uh, so this one seems to fit the bill and it's also going to be really good because it's kind of a, designed to be like a hybrid bike. And a hybrid bike's ideal because that's kind of how I use this bike anyways. Uh, you know, it's a mountain bike, but I use it for on the streets, and I kind of have, uh, you know, tires which are good for the road. But this new one I'm hoping to get tonight is uh, a hybrid bike, so it has the 700cc wheels. So they're bigger wheels, they're narrower, and, uh, you know, they have good road treads on them. So uh, I'm going to take a look at it and uh, hopefully buy it. I'm on the GO train now and if you've never taken a bike on the GO train before you are allowed to do it. See that little symbol there that's where you keep your bike. You're allowed to have two bikes here in this entrance way so one person can be sitting down there the other person has to be standing out here and uh, so I'm just riding along on the way to Toronto. Now the reason I said it's gonna be a bit of an adventure picking up this bike um, is because I'm going to Toronto with one bike and if everything goes as planned, I'll be coming back from Toronto with two bikes. So I'll need to be doing a little bit of juggling between the two bikes, you know, getting them back home and getting me, you know, to the ukulele jam and everything. Um, not entirely sure I'll get the bike all the way home. I'll hopefully get it as far as the Whippy Go station and maybe I'll just lock it up overnight and then come in the morning and, and get the second bike, but, uh, but we'll see anyways. So right now it's about 20 past five, so I should be getting there about 5:45, and, uh, and then I'll head my way up to the uh, the area where the, the person lives that's selling the bike, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to get that bike. So, ninety dollars later, here she is, and I just walked the bike down from uh, up in the area where it was at Carlton and Parliament down to uh, Parliament and Queen, and then I've locked up my uh, my my green bike, my green machine. I'm gonna leave it here uh, for a little bit, and then I'm gonna use this bike here, and I'm gonna ride it over uh, to the Dominion on Queen where the ukulele jam is held. And I'm gonna drop off a few of my things, my ukulele and my backpack, and reserve some seats for the, for the jam. And then I'm gonna 
hop back on this bike and ride it down to Union Station and then I'll walk all the way back and then I'll go to the gym and then when, I'll, when I've done that I'll use this bike to get back home again. So uh, right now it's about 6.30 so I've got plenty of time. I don't need to be back to the gym. The gym doesn't officially start until uh, 8 o'clock so you know 50 minutes to ride this down to the GO station and then you know 40-45 minutes to walk back an hour I'm still there quite early. Uh, but anyways I'll get on the road and I will uh, head over to the ukulele gym. So I got my things dropped off here. I'm at the uh, Dominion on Queen where the ukulele jam is. I left my backpack there and my ukulele. And now all I've got with me is just this bike and then a lock that I'm going to use to lock it up and of course the key in my pocket to do that. So now I'm going to ride this down to the Union Station. Um, unfortunately I don't have lights on it because I didn't think of that when I was at home. I do have lights on the other one but I couldn't exactly, like the, the back light wouldn't fit onto this one. Um, it has a specially made bracket for, for fitting on that bike so I couldn't move that over but I'll just be very careful when I'm riding and uh, I'm sure it'll be nice and safe. Alright well I've got my bike secured there and should be safe for a few hours at least. Um, I'm underneath where the rails are on the GO train here so when I come to take my train it's usually that one there, 5 and 4, 4 and 5 so it should make life pretty easy. Now I'm just beginning my long and slow walk back to uh, Queen and Parliament where my uh, green bike is and then uh, I will uh, go to the ukulele gym and have a good time so so it's five minutes to seven right now so uh, we'll look at the time again when we get there and figure out how long this takes to walk I'm guessing it's gonna be about 40 to 45 minutes so not too bad uh, when I was walk when I was riding I really didn't find it too bad uh, riding without the lights like you know I'm wearing all this reflective clothing and there's you know lots of reflectors on the bike and uh, my helmet and everything um, so you just had to be careful and you know looking over my shoulder all the way along making sure that there wasn't uh, you know too much uh, coming up behind me and you know just, just being careful always always looking in all directions while, while riding so anyways people are kind of looking at me weird for uh, talking to a camera so I guess I'll put this away and uh, I've got an apple in my pocket which I'm going to eat because I'm getting a little bit hungry again and uh, I guess I'll, I'll update you when I'm closer to the ukulele gym alright so now I'm back at Queen and Parliament and the time is 17 minutes after 7 so it took you know, just over 20 minutes to do that walk all the way from there, which really wasn't bad at all. I, you know, expected it to be a lot more. It was really simple. I didn't run or anything. I just calmly walked and, you know, I was a, a fast walk, but it wasn't a speed walk or anything. Um, but anyways, uh, I'm back in my bike now and I'm just going to unlock it here, ride it, you know, a few blocks down the street to where the ukulele jam is. But anyways, I'll talk to you in a bit. It is packed tonight. I'm just finished off of the jam now. I just got my bike back loaded up again, and I'm gonna ride down to Union. And uh, it's after 11 now. The jam went until it was 11:42 right now, so uh, later than usual, but uh, early enough that I'll be able to catch the 12:13 train home. So now we're pretty much ready to go. The train is waiting to leave. Should be leaving in a minute or so. And then we'll be on our way back to Whitby. And uh, this is my first chance really getting a look at this bike in better light uh, now that I'm indoors when I was looking at it at the house the guy that was selling it from me was outside and it was dark and uh, you know then I rode it in the dark um, but you know from, from the looks of it, it just still looks to be in quite good shape I'm really excited for what I'll be able to do with this bike uh, but anyways I'll update you when I get to Whitby all right so once again I'm back here at the Whitby GO station and uh, I've got my brand new bike all locked up underneath this nice bike shelter awning thing. Well, I had considered maybe, you know, riding both bikes home. You know, you ride one bike and you have your other hand on the other bike and you just sort of push it home. Um, I've done it for, for shorter distances, but it's about five kilometers from here to home. That's pretty far for doing that. You get pretty, you know, your hand gets pretty tired when you're doing that. Uh, but I've decided I'll just leave it here overnight 
and uh, my sister takes the go train in the morning so I'll just get a ride down her down here with her and then I'll ride uh, the new bike home and then I'll have both my bikes at home uh, but anyways that concludes this little video that I made about uh, going to Toronto and picking up my uh, my new bike um, I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting uh, thanks for watching